Hey, this is the CND channel. I'm Chris. This is Dave, and this is MMA for You. Uh, we're going to be doing our prediction for UFC 147, which is going to happen on June 23rd. What do you think of this card, man? What is this? What the what the hell happened? This is not a card. I will assume. Yeah. What happened, Chris? Well, man, the UFC right now is going through a lot of injuries. You know, Vanderlei Silva was supposed to fight Vitor Belfort. Caesar Mutante was supposed to fight Daniel Serafian. <laughs> um, who, so this is like the first Ultimate Fighter uh, finalist that got injured and won't be fighting in the finale, I, I, I believe. <laughs> I mean, um, what are they doing in the gym? They're hitting war, taking stone, hitting each other? What the hell has happened? Uh, I think they're just training too hard. And I don't think they're training smart. I think you got 20 killers in the gym that are training with each other. Instead of like one guy focus, you know, with two or three training partners focusing on certain elements of an opponent that they should be fighting, you so, know, so among other things. So and they are training to become monster. That too. And then the, who knows how many like newbies they're bumping into oh, due to oh, space man. issues, you know? Newbie, man. You don't want to fight with newbie, dude. <laughs> Well, the thing with that, though, is because of that, we really couldn't do uh, many shows that you may have noticed. Like, UFC 148 totally changed. UFC 149 totally changed. Yeah. Hector Lombard and UFC uh, on Fox was supposed to fight Brian Stan. Not going to happen anymore. He's going to fight Tim Bosch on UFC 149 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but right now, we are going to do shows regularly. Uh -huh. You got Strike Force to look forward to. The all women's uh, Invicta FC2, if it's as good as number one, I'll be awesome. UFC on Fuel 4, Munoz versus Weedman. Uh, we'll probably end up doing UFC 148 and 149 because I think they finally um, figured out the card. <laughs> yeah, recuperate. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, expect a lot of shows from us in the near future. Weekly basis, man. Weekly basis. Weekly yeah. basis. I, I come into it. I come into it. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, again, uh, we apologize we're not doing any show, but how can we do a show where they, well, everybody's down in the hospital, you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Well, let's do this show, man. You have seen 147. Let's get right to it. In the main event, we have Rich Ace Franklin fighting Vanderlei Silva in in five rounds. Who do you got, my man? Well, of course, Vanderlei Silva. You got Vanderlei, the axe yeah, What? Uh, come on. Really? Rich Franklin lost their la uh, won their last fight, man. Well, I know, but Vanderlei Silva is very aggressive. He pushed for, you know, his, it's a monster. There's no He's way you stop member. him. Yeah, you no know way you can stop him, you know? In his last fight, he beat up Kung Lee with knees, man. Absolutely. absolutely. That was pretty brutal. It broke his nose. I, I do worry about his chains not as good anymore. You know, God, his age, you know? Who, who does it, right? Yeah, exactly. But his knees still pretty strong. I mean, he, he drew haymakers. I mean, do. Yeah, he's you trying to knock you out. He don't want to be there, man. You know what, man? I got Rich H. Franklin. I do have some concerns here. He's also getting up in age. He's taking the fight on short notice, mm -hmm. and he hasn't fought in a while mm -hmm. himself. Mm -hmm. However, he's a very well-rounded fighter. He's always showed good cardio. I'm not too sure. I have to. I, I forgot to check if this is fight is at 185. I think it's at 190, but it's also five rounds, and I think five rounds helps Rich Franklin. Mm -hmm. You know, he's good. His Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is good. I don't think he'll hit the ground. His kickboxing is it's just good. It's really technical, technically sound. He's fought Vanderlei before and mm -hmm. beat him. Um, I think that Rich Franklin I don't think he'll knock him out or anything, but no, I think he'll no way. yeah. I think he'll outlast him. That's what I think will happen. I I, I worry about that too, but I feel like, you know, come on and this the Sil you know, Vanden Silver has been waiting for this for a while and he's he's ready to, you know, revenge. Plus, you know, once you get one or two hits the haymaker, you are down, dude. And I just hope that doesn't happen, man. Okay. Uh, that's a hope you happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next right after that, we have Mike Russo versus Fabricio Verdum. Verdum. You are Doom. Yeah, man. I like Fabricio Verdum in this fight, but Mike Russo has this really... He's very odd because he looks really out of shape. 
Uh-huh. He's a part-time fighter. He's, he's actually a Chicago cop. But the guy has some of the ugliest fights and has been on a good winning streak. And dude, man, this guy has a strong chin even though he looks freaking weak. Yeah, Todd Duffy was just beating him up on the feet. And in the very last round, in the end of the third round, he, he throws like what looks like an overhand, like haymaker, uh-huh. knocks out Duffy. And it looks like Duffy was going to win the fight. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he won. And since the Duffy fight, he's been on this really good win streak, actually. He's, he's the type of guy that could play upsetter. You know, he could play spoiler. I don't think so in this case, though, gets Dude, Badu. Badu is Abu Dhabi freaking BJJ champion, man. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think, you know, I don't think he... He submitted... Mike, Fe, first guy to submit Fedor Melianenko. And that's why I said, dude, the Mike... I don't I don't think he has any chance to stand with Badu, dude. Yeah, the thing with Badu, he should improve striking in the Roy Nelson fight. Really good knees. Uh, and just his Muay Thai in general has, has been improving a lot. Even saw a little bit of that in the Alistair Overeem fight, actually. If he was, when he wasn't flopping, he was actually, you know, you know, striking with uh, Overeem. I uh, saw a little bit of, of his striking also against Bigfoot Silva as well. Mm-hmm. So I like Verdum's striking. It's been improving. And um, his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the best. I mean, he, he's the top, one of the top Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys in the world. Mm-hmm. Guy has, he's tall and lanky, really good triangles, really strong off his back, Don't really good on me. top. I think he also has judo as well. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yep, for yep. doing for sure. Next. Okay, next round I thought we have Caesar Mutante Ferreira versus Sergio Sergino Maras. Caesar. Yep, you got Caesar Mutante, huh? Mutante. Yeah. I like Sergino because it's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu game and he's just kind of a funny guy. Striking was kind of weak. I think he lost to. Um, at least to Daniel Serafia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Mutante, actually, on the show, if you remember, yeah. I mean, he was the, out of all his fights, he was the quickest to win, um, like, every fight. Like, he always won in the first, you know, like, it didn't take him long uh, to, to win his fights. He beat Bodau with a vicious head kick. That was part, looked like it was blocked. But you know uh, the power in that kick is pretty amazing. Uh, I mean, he always, a, he always have a really good you know kick. Have a you know uh, the what's a capoeira capoeira back one, dude. You don't yeah. want to mess with that, you know. Yeah, it, it could be a great break dancer. But anyway, <laughs> uh, the thing is, he does have strong Brazilian jiu jitsu. He was doing a lot of good front chokes, gi mm-hmm. teams, and went on the show. Obviously, Sergino's game is in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Mm-hmm. Uh, out of his six wins, five of them are by submission. Mm-hmm. On the shell, I mean, like his leg locks are good, and, and he his rear naked choke over uh, the Chumbo uh, was really slick, really deep. Yeah, he, you know that. And well, he is fighting for a reason, man. All these, uh, all these uh, Brazilian guy, man, they, 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 they fighting for the, they fighting for you know, to be somebody, man. Yeah, to get He's out of the favelas. hungry, dude. Yeah, to get out of the favelas. That's yeah. why I think this card, on paper, probably isn't the best card. As far as entertainment goes, uh-huh. I think this might be one of the better cards out there, to we're be honest. We're going to see blood. We're going to see angle luck. We're going to see people pop out of shoulders. It's yeah. going to be insane. Oh, well, next right after that, we got uh, for the... Uh, Ultimate Fighter Brazil featherweight final because the last one was middleweight final. We have mm-hmm. Ronnie Jason Mar- Mariano Bezerra versus Godofredo Pepe de Oliveira. Oh, Pepe de Oliveira. You got Pepe, huh? Undefeated. A O record, okay? Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, dude, you know, 2 KO, TKO, 6 submissions, strong uh, BJJ, okay? Quite the finisher, huh? Yeah, on top. You know, BJJ on top is make you going crazy, you know? Yeah. He's got off his back, too. Yeah, I mean, he just, I, I, I think he is very strong. Yeah, but I got Ronnie J, son. Um, the thing is, with him, he trains with Ten, the... three record, man. I like undefeated, dude. Yeah, but, uh, uh, he, you know, you were saying that Pepe has good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So does Ronnie J, son. Seven of his, those wins are by submission. 
trains with the Nogara brothers and, you know, slash Pitbull brothers. Okay, okay. You know, he's on a five fight win streak and he's just a well rounded fighter. Okay. He's also on Bloody Elbows, um, uh, World MMA Scouting Report as well. I forgot what number, but he, he's, he's, I think he's for real. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, you know, definitely one is for real. Pepe, you know, he looks good, he sounds good, and then he's been doing really good. Hopefully, he step out and then, you know, show us what, we, what he got. Cool. Next fight after that, we have Yori Alcantara versus Hakun Diaz. Uh, Hakun Diaz. Hakun Diaz, huh? Yeah, 20, 21 record, okay? Damn. I mean, damn. One right? loss. Yeah. One loss of 20 win, dude. 3 KO, TKO, nice submission. And this guy is only 28 years old. BJJ base, man. Mm-hmm. It is a BJJ killer, dude. Very strong BJJ, good transition, which I, again, I've been emphasized on the show. I love people who have a good transition. Yeah, man. You know? He trains at the uh, famed Nova Uno camp. Yeah. And, but you know what? I got Yuri Alcantara, man. This guy has impressed me, man. Uh, Alcon Diaz is someone to watch out for, though. He was the number one featherweight in the 2012 Bloody Elbow World MMA Scouting Report. Mm-hmm. He actually skipped the show. I think he tried out for the show, and they just they just picked him up, actually. Um, so, you know, yeah. he, he's an impressive guy. You, you're here. Yeah. I think he's a, he is an impressive guy, but you're a control, especially if you watch the Omegawa fight. This guy knocked out Ricardo Lamas, who is fighting Hachi Hiyoki, and, um, yeah, UFC on FX. Yeah, it's impressive. Yeah. 13 5 win stream, man. Yeah. It's not, it's not joking. He's, he's for real. He's just a well-rounded guy. I, I remember he was out striking Omigawa. Uh-huh. The only th- problem is oh, was his yeah. cardio. Yeah. That, that's it. But otherwise, his top game was awesome. I remember Omigawa was going for like a judo takedown, and Alcantara actually reversed it and got on top, and he got mounted. <laughs> I mean, th- this guy, honestly, after a couple more wins, could be. Uh, I, I'm I'm very high on Yuri Alcantara to be honest with you. You know, I, I saw his fight, I, I know he's strong. The only reason uh, I didn't pick him is I, I question his uh, cardi- cardio. I mean, I know, of course, for somebody who is strong, BJJ and, uh, you know, stand out, he burns a lot of cardio. <laughs> but in order to be the great one, you know, on top of the chain, mm-hmm. on top of the food chain, you gotta have a cardio, you mm-hmm. know? Well, we'll see how that goes. That's a fight actually I'm looking forward to. Absolutely. Yeah, onto the prelim card. All the um the prelim card that's gonna be on FX, every fighter here uh ha fought in Ultimate Fighter Brazil. Um so uh, see some good fights here. Let's get mm-hmm. started with that. Uh Rodrigo Dom. Uh, Rodrigo Dom. I can't really I can't pronounce it like in the show. Rodrigo Dom. Okay. <laughs> I, I think it was like that. Fight uh Anastavio Gasparzino Medeiros. I'm trying to do do it like you know on the show. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Now let's let's skip the show and doing what we do the best. Okay, man. So, man. Rodrigo <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Not in five records. I mean, two KO, two KO. I mean, again, you know, you already mentioned it to our audience. You will see not really fantastic five records, but these people are dying for chance, mm-hmm. all right? Nine and five record, two KO, TKO, five submissions, three loss by KO, TKO, but he has a strong BJJ. He fought the who's who of MMA. He fought, um, I believe, yeah, he fought Gilbert Melendez and Strikeforce, Justin mm-hmm. Wilcox. He's lost to all these guys, except uh, he beat Masvidal. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a really good win. Um, lost to Maximo Blanco. He's always had good uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but you know what? I gotta go with Gaspar Zeno here, man. 15-7 record, three wins by KO or TKO, 12 wins by Sub, quite the finisher. Mm-hmm. Also trains at Team Nogueira slash Pitball Brothers, and also has uh, by 12 subs, you know. Strong Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, He's only 24 years old. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I think Gaspar Zeno is going to take this one. Um, yeah, yeah, sounds very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next right after that, we have Francisco Masurunduba. Uh, Dronado versus Dalson Petitumbo. 
Helena. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to do my best uh, impersonation of the of the that one guy. He does uh, the voiceovers. And, no problem. No problem. Who, who do you got, man? After you pronounce her name, I don't even know how to pronounce her anymore. Just say Chumbo, man. Chumbo, man. You got Chumbo? Okay. Yeah, I got Chumbo as well, man. Dude, 23 and 6 breakers, uh, 2 KO, TKO, 12 submission, 3... You know, I forget about Laws. I mean, he's very strong. You yeah, know? He's, he's like buff. I got to be your chair, dude. Huh. I mean, look at his opponent. I mean, it's pretty good, too, okay? But... He's be Jake Allenberger, who, who, you know, who just lost to Campman, but he, he's like up and coming welterweight in the UFC. Tyler Stinson, who's in Strike Force right now. Uh, um, actually, Sitson almost beat, um, geez, his last fight. I forgot who. Uh, Daniel Casio. Mm -hmm. I liked Masa and Duba, Duba on the show. I think he's um, going to be undersized in this fight, which is why I'm not going to pick him. He's had a good four fight win streak, but I got uh, Pitt. And, and he is younger, you know, if I'm not mistaken. I think Pedro Chumbo has been, been around the block for a while, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, you know, uh, he has a lot more experience, three times more fights. Um, and like I said, I think he, I, I think Master Nduba is not finding the correct weight class here. I, I think Pedro Chumbo is going to be the bigger fighter. Oh. Okay, next fight after that. Guy, I'm actually a prospect I'm looking for. Actually, both these guys are prospects I'm looking forward to. They're like the two, two of my favorite guys on the show. John Macapa Texera versus Hugo Wolverine Viana. Dude, I don't know. I don't care who you pick. I like Wolverine, man. The Wolverine was pretty cool. It, it's my old auntie visit, okay? Yeah. This guy is Wolverine, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. He had a strong guan, you know, guan and palm, dude. Oh, do you remember in the show when he he, he knocked the guy out with elbow ground? Boom. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. it was, uh, I, that was. Dana White was all like, dude, he should have stopped it sooner, man. He was like, yeah, man. Dude, all, I, I like mean, I, he is just for blood. He is Wolverine, man. You know what? You know, takes his elbow. Come on, dude. You know what though, man? I got Macapa here. He was a guy I thought when he fought Rod Rodrigo Dum uh, on the show. Um, he's also undefeated, but thirteen and 1 record. One thing I like about him, his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is just is sick. When Rod Rodrigo Dum took him down, he always got back to his feet, and his striking is just solid. It mm. is solid. You know, he just has. Not solid Wolverine, man. Well, yeah, I think he might have the better strike. He, what's funny is uh, with Texera, as good as his uh, striking is, he's actually his ground game is actually his strong point. Mm -hmm. um, out of thirteen wins, nine of them are by sub. He doesn't have a lot of KO or TKOs, but he he has good stand up. It's only twenty five, and just a well rounded guy. I I really liked what I saw from him on the show. Like I said, I thought he should have beaten, should have got the win over Rodrigo Dom. Um, when they fought, unfortunately, the top control uh, won there. But Ugo Warren was really impressive on the show, too. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's actually to the point, I, I think you agree with me on this. I really don't want to see these two fight each other because yeah, I like both these guys. You know, I mean, as, as much as I like Wolverine, I, I, I like John, too. I mean, I think he's a uh, it's really solid guy. I don't think they should fight each other. They should be in separate way and they can go grow. You know, slowly and you know, maturely. Right now, tell me to kill each other. Then what? You know, you bury a talent. You could, but like there, there have been cases where like when two prospects fought each other, like um, Gustafson versus Phil Davis. Um, Davis won, but Gustafson's actually ahead of Davis now in like the pecking order, <laughs> pretty much. So it, you know, it, it happens. If you're a good enough prospect, you might not get buried. You know, that's the thing. But you might not. Rather than they go separate ways and go yeah. kill each other, kill other people. Uh. The, those two are definitely on the show the most tough guy out there, the great prospect. And, you know, maybe for entertainment purpose, we can see a really good fight here, you know? Exactly, man, exactly. Okay, so uh, the final card on the FX premium is Thiago Bedell, De Oliveira Perpetuo. Or perpetual versus Leonardo Mac Macaro Mafra Texera. 
Holy freaking cow, man. <laughs> yeah, who do you got, my man? Leo. I, I'm not gonna even this bother. Is Leonardo, man. Leonardo, right? Yeah, Leonardo, huh? Leonardo, he's gonna paint a Mona Lisa's not smile because he's gonna kick your butt, man. Oh, yeah? It, five old record, undefeated, three KO, TKO, two decision. Still, it's trains never... at shoot the box of all the places. That's where Shogun trained, Vandalay trained. They're known for their very aggressive style fighting. However, I do have Tiago Bedell. Uh, his 8 1 1 record, 6 wins by KO, TKO, 1 win by sub. Mm -hmm. Really good in the clinch. Really good on top and half guard. If you watch this fight against Masar and um, for example, or like one of his prelim or his fight to get in the house, he was beating them up, his opponent up so much with ground and pound on top and half guard. Of course, he has to get there uh, that the guys couldn't actually get up. Um, Masar and Duba couldn't get up for the third round, second or third round. I think it's third round. And the opponent before that couldn't get up for, like, to, you know, when it goes to, like, the hand raising and the decision, he couldn't get up. Um, so, Bedell, he, he, they focused a lot on the show. He fought shoulder cancer and won. <laughs> so, you know, he's in the cage. You know? I know, it's, no, it's, no, I it's know. just cool that the guy, you know, beat short beat cancer you know okay okay i so, got it you, and now you, if you can beat opponent. cancer then you can probably keep being uh, my guy i mean he did get knocked out by the head kick by caesar mutante um but mutante is really good <laughs> but you know i agree with you you have a guy who be the worst in the way cancer if he can go through our pen mm -hmm. this fist is mm -hmm. nothing to him man yeah exactly man Cool, cool. On to the prelim card, the Facebook prelims. We have Marcos Vinicius Vina, uh, Borges Bans uh, Pansini versus Wagner Giletto Campos. Vina, Vina. You got Vina, huh? I like 19 Vina. 3 1 record. Dude, this guy have a lot of win. Mm. 6 KOT goes 13 submission. Finisher, dude. He's gonna finish anybody account to his, you know, ring, dude. Yeah. Three win, three five win streak. Yeah. Uh, I can't recall too much about Vina or uh, Galato, but um, yeah, I gotta go with Vina or Vina. Why did I say Vina? Vina. Vina, because he's such a finisher. You know what I mean? And um. Nineteen three one record, oh, you know, it, it, it's just really it good. It shows that he can, his submission, you know, he really got submission, but he can, he can stand Same with, with you. guys as well. I like that. Okay, so, and finally, we got the inventor of the anaconda choke, Milton Vieira versus Felipe Orantes. Who do you got, man? Vieira. You got Milton Vieira, why, man? Um... Milton Ferrer, I, I don't know, I mean, similar one record, so nice that's, submission. It's actually a 13-7 one record, that's, 13, what are you doing, one. man? Okay, okay, my eyes hurt, man. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, he has nice submission. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> full decision, 33 years old, kind of old, but you know, it's not that old, he can still choke people out. Mm. Three five winning streak never be finished. You trying yeah. to finish him? Yeah, out of his seven right? losses, they're all decisions. Dude, he invented in, like, such great choke, dude. Yeah, yeah, he invented the anaconda choke. <laughs> anaconda choke, man. I, I don't care if he's gonna lose or win, just because he I, I support him. It's my emotional, mm. you know, pick, dude. Yeah, I know, man. But I got Felipe Arantes on the one. Me, dude. Don't don't let me ever see you use a. Use that his choke, dude. I've used it on you a couple times, bro. <laughs> and then you don't pick him. What's wrong with you? I liked Arantiso when he fought uh, Carvalho in his last fight. He showed to have the better stand up than Carvalho. Uh, he's only 24 years old. And his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is good. Uh, um, I'm going back to Carvalho fight because Carvalho actually has better Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but he managed to um, fend off any type of uh, submission. So uh, that's the thing. Uh, Arantes, he does have the striking, and I think he has good enough 
Possibly, because, you know, Mr. Beer is, uh, you know, he, he invented the Anaconda chair. Dude, come on. <laughs> well, I think, you know, he does have good enough submission defense not to get submitted by uh, Milton. We will see. But we'll see. We right. will see. Right. Now, let's do a quick, quick, fast, you know, recap. recap. Okay, let's Rich go. Franklin fights Vanderlei Silva. Vanderlei Silva. We got Rich Franklin. Okay, Fabricio Verdun fights Mike Russell. Verdun. Verdun. Okay, Cesar Mutante fights Sergino. Mutante. Yeah, oh. I got Mutante. Okay, Ronnie Jason fights uh, Pepe. Pepe. Oh. Well, I just go with the nickname, so I don't <laughs> have to say the whole thing. Okay, uh, Yuri Alcantara fights Hakran Diaz. Diaz. Okay, I got Alcantara. Okay, Rodrigo Dom fights a Gaspar Zeno. Dom. I got Gaspar Zeno. Okay. Uh, Masaranduba fights Peda Chumbo. Chumbo. Okay, I also got Peda Chumbo. Okay, John Macapa Texera fights Ugo Wolverine. Wolverine, Wolverine. Uh, I got John Macapa. Okay, and uh, Macara fights uh, Bodau. Mac <laughs> yeah, you can just say Leonardo. <laughs> Leonardo, yeah. Okay, I got Bodau. Okay, uh, Vina fights Galato. Who do you got? We both got Vina. Vina. Okay, and Felipe Arantes fights Milton Vieira. Uh, who do you got? I got Felipe Arantes. I would definitely not got him. <laughs> <laughs> I got Milton Vieira. I still cannot believe you betrayed a guy who you use. You use his choke all the time. Yeah, What's yeah, yeah, you? I know, I know. Okay, so that's pretty much it for our predictions for UFC 147, which is going to happen this Saturday, actually. Um, if you have any comments, just leave them below. Any final words, Dave? Check out our petition and they say Chris is going to be one. No, just kidding. Check out our petition. You know, um, thank you for watching us. Again, we're sorry we're not being around just because people are in hospital, you know? Right. So hopefully you like our petition and give us the support. Thank you. Cool. That's been much it for MMA for you. Thank you guys very much.